Yeah, um, most of the voiceovers were recorded on set, and um, yeah, most of them we wrote, but they were adjusted according to um, what that actor remembered. Um, no, um, <laughs> um, according to what they were comfortable with, they would adjust it to um, yeah, to what made sense for them. Some of them are here right now, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, they're from um, Tish. It was my thesis. Well, not all of them. Some of them were from Tish. Some were friends from outside. Uh, there was a question over there. Is the film pretty close to the script, or did you have to improvise a lot? Improvise a lot. <laughs> And of course, um, it was shaped a lot by our editor, Azar, who um, we edited it for quite a while and then we sort of gave it away and he basically restructured the whole, the whole film. And then we discussed it again and it kind of made sense. The um, question? Yeah. I think a huge part of it was we look at our budget, we look at how long we could afford to feed people for, right? And like, it, um, people wouldn't want to work for too long, like for food and lodgings, because they had to go do things that would make the money too, so, yeah. Of course, if we had the luxury, we would, would, I think like almost any filmmaker would have liked to shoot for longer. Yeah, I mean, it's always like you want more and more and everything, but we had to work with what we had. It was a it was a mixer. It was a mix. I mean, certain scenes we we deliberately wanted to be very still, so that those would contrast with the scenes where you know there's like merry-go-rounds and the camera's turning all over the place. So we wanted um, that kind of contrast, but we also wanted um, some were yeah circumstantial. So sometimes, as I said just now, um, if someone refused to move, then la la na. <laughs> She was sketching herself or something. So I was just wondering if there was any objective that you were trying to get from shooting it from the start to the end of the film. What do you think? So, what do you think? I think one reason why we did that scene was also because like she yeah she has problems connecting with him and it's like he's they're supposed to be on this trip together but he's very much in his own world he has his own agenda right so kind of by drawing herself um an image of herself onto this book that he's reading you know she is a way of saying that hey i'm there and I, I think it, it was a decision that we talk about quite a lot, showing her drawing the whole image. But we knew we wanted it, even though we uh, were also concerned that it might be difficult for the audience. Because I think it was something about the... I think we both really like long takes, we like the uninterrupted shot. Even the way she was drawing it, I mean, it was one take only, we only had one book, right? So. Yeah, I mean, even the way she was drawing it with her very tentative manner and it's so... probably because she didn't want to mess up. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't get her to, like, rehearse the sketching, so... I think it hopefully gave the audience an insight to, like, know her war, her mindset, and something like an image to ponder, rather than if you just show it to you, like, here is... 
ya cut to her drawing an image of herself then we cut to something else right that was the question so yeah um I guess given that um I guess maybe we're close to it so I mean when we cut it we just cut it chronologically and we cut it as we saw it but you know as it was written but I think because Aza had the distance from it and we didn't even tell him what the script was we just said um here's a bunch of footage like figure it out and um, I think he really helped us to remember that um, it's a film about memory it's a film about loss and trying to yeah trying to remember so I mean when you remember you don't remember chronologically um, you repeat things in your head you repeat scenes and you distort them on your own so I think it's it's chronological in the sense that you see a, you see a person go through memories. Um, some are her own, some are not her own. Um, you see each character um, reveal a little bit of themselves in their monologues. Yeah. Anyone has any more questions? Okay, so the two directors, anything like you want to share with the crowd here about your show, what you hope people can take away with at the end of this? Um, I think first of all, we'd like to really thank um, you guys for coming. And a lot of you guys here today have really helped us in so many ways in the film. So yeah, we're really grateful for that because I think it's um, a film we definitely couldn't have made without support from so many people who are willing to give us their time, their talent, right? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, I hope it wasn't too painful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's give them another round of applause. Thank you.